Hi, I'm Matt Bunty from the Cleveland Clinic, a uh, cardiology fellow. Um, we did a study of looking at GI bleeding events in the HeartMate 2 population. Um, we're excited to present uh, this data of 139 patients, uh, all HeartMate 2s that were uh, uh, analyzed uh, uh, from June of, uh, t uh, or actually October of 2004 to June of uh, 2010. All patients had at least three months follow up. We excluded all patients with other forms of mechanical circulatory support, such as RVADs, BIVADs, um, HeartMate XVEs in particular. Um, we uh, used uh, Intermax to define bleeding events in this population, and we um, used uh, an analysis of repeated time varying covariates uh, in a multivariate uh, uh, modeling to uh, evaluate for risk fact, preoperative risk factors for these bleeding events. Uh, our overall results were um, uh, 81 major bleeding events among a population of uh, 139 HeartMate 2 recipients. Uh, approximately 20% of those bleeding events uh, were related to upper and lower GI bleeding. The main results of our uh, study um, that uh, we hope to show were that uh, GI bleeding events occur early, much earlier than we uh, uh, would have uh, guessed before doing this analysis, which is why I think it's uh, helpful and important. The me median time to GI bleed was uh, 33 days, and that uh, 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 was associated with uh, the same time period for uh, a high risk of thoracic bleeding as well as uh, ischemic and, and uh, 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 strokes and uh, other forms of arterial embolism. Um, major risk factors for GI bleeding, I think, have more to do with Intramax score. A high Intramax score uh, before surgery predicts um, uh, your likelihood to have these uh, GI bleeding events. GI bleeding events are common, and about a third of our patients had a repeat uh, GI bleeding event. Uh, a first GI bleed did not uh, seem to predict subsequent bleeding in uh, statistical models using uh, modulated renewal analysis. Uh, and uh, uh, bleeding events uh, adversely affected survival, probably uh, through a uh, function of uh, these patients receiving transfusions, which we know is a, a problem among the HeartMate 2 population. Uh, transfusions are, are uh, a bad thing and that they uh, adversely affect mortality. So the conclusions of this analysis were that GDing, GI bleeding events are common. Uh, greatest risk occurs uh, within about the first 30 days or so. Um, that uh, survival is reduced after these um, bleeding events and that additional studies are, are really needed to explore uh, some of the factors that are predictive of GI bleeding events. We hope to expand on you know, the already well-established uh, body of literature on GI bleeding um, and uh, wanted to more precisely characterize when these uh, GI bleeding events occur, when patients are at risk for GI bleeding events. And I think this uh, large table in the poster kind of portrays that you know, these, these bleeding events occur over time, uh, particularly in the first three months, but certainly they peak much earlier than we suspected.